Welcome to the Driver Anywhere setup video. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up your drivers so they can use the Driver Anywhere app with Limo Anywhere. So first thing you want to do is you want to set up your drivers. Um, after you've done that, under My Office, Company Resources, Drivers, you will edit the driver. First thing you want to do is give them uh, username and password that they're going to use to log into driver anywhere so they need company ID username and password please note that usernames must be unique you cannot use the same username for multiple drivers passwords don't have to meet any requirements so you can type that in there and you update the driver you'll also want to go to driver anywhere settings and allow them to use driver anywhere now if you want to allow them to edit trip times see rate data edit rate data close out trips process payments you can check marcos here based on what you want to allow the driver to do now if they are collecting payments you do need to uh, have the process payments check marked if you want to allow them to see rate data um, edit rate data as well you can they won't be able to edit the full um, rates on the reservation um, just tolls parking and miscellaneous one miscellaneous fee two or the rates that you have mapped for driver anywhere so once you have those set up you'll update it you also want to go to my office company settings company preferences driver anywhere and in here you want to make sure that you map the rates that you want the driver to see and or edit in this case I'm just going to do tolls to tolls parking to parking extra gratuity to extra gratuity miscellaneous fee one and miscellaneous fee two wait time there so I said before if they see your edit rate data they will see the ones that you have mapped here so tolls parking miscellaneous one and two so if I map this to something else like airport fee um, they'll be able to see and edit that one wait time so in driver anywhere there is a wait timer so you can set up the rates for the wait time per minute here under these settings so this is based on vehicle type so uh, just do however much per minute based on the vehicle type and once that's saved um, once the driver starts the wait timer it will start charging that per minute you can also set up grace periods so for non airport transfers domestic or international airport transfers um, it will give a customer the uh, grace period so that the driver cannot start until 10 minutes after scheduled pickup time for non-airport transfers or 30 minutes for domestic 60 minutes for international airport transfers you also have your payment processing settings here allow driver to take payments when payment methods direct bill invoice so you can allow them if it's direct bill invoice to take a payment and driver anywhere require the driver to take payments for the following statuses you can select all unpaid and or collect so if it is in one of these payment statuses and you have it checked the driver has to take a payment and driver anywhere also require customer signature these all four should be checked because it is required on all transactions now in driver anywhere driver anywhere also has its own date and time format and you can hide the passenger company name and or phone number from the driver anywhere as well these other settings no longer apply um, they were for the older version of a driver anywhere once you have that set you'll click update my company preferences so those are saved 
Next thing you want to do is make sure that you have your driver workflow set up so the drivers can go through the statuses and you can get those real time in Limo Anywhere. To do that, go to System Mapping, Statuses. There will be a tab here, Driver Flow. So you want to make sure these are mapped to the appropriate statuses. So you have Driver on the way, obviously I have on the way driver on location, I have the status arrived, and so on. One thing to note here is that when the driver reaches the passenger dropped off state, it will prompt them to close out the trip. So, whatever status you need to be the last status in their flow, you need to have under here. So, in this instance, when the driver selects done, it's going to prompt them to close out the trip and take the payment. Now, there are some cases where you might use a garage in status uh, or you don't want them closing out the trip until they get into the garage. For those instances, you would create a different status. So I would create like a passenger dropped off status and unmap it. So that way, the driver is allowed to select it, but they can also select done and close out the trip when they get back in the garage. If you need any help with workflow, please contact support. We'd be more than happy to assist you with that. Now, you also on your dispatch screen, under manage statuses, you can go under the status list and uh, allow the driver to select certain statuses. So whatever you're mapping in your workflow, you wanna make sure that you go in here and edit and check mark that so they can select it. Another thing you might want to add to your dispatch screen is uh, the uh, flag driver rejected reservation. So under grid setup, company preferences tab, there's the flag driver rejected reservations. You want to make sure you change that to yes, update it, and then under grid setup, there'll be a new column, flag driver rejected reservations, that you can add to your dispatch grid. So you'll see it here, it's labeled DA, and this allows you to see whether the driver has accepted or rejected the trip. So. If they have accepted the trip, the box for the trip under this column will be green. If they've accepted it, gray if they haven't done anything yet, and red if they've rejected it. That concludes Driver Anywhere setup. Thank you very much.